two-thirds of our population is overweight. We need to understand the lymphatic system's role in removing waste from our body that can combine to become fat. In 2005, two studies linked fat and obesity to damaged lymph vessels. In this study, they took mice, they damaged a gene that makes healthy lymph vessels, and what they found was that they had leaky lymph vessels that could not absorb waste in the body, and the leg of the mice became fat. So it's very important that we understand how this lymph system, this tiny network of vessels and nodes, must remove waste from our body, or it just stores in us. It doesn't take much. It's really very simple. One of the biggest things we need to understand is pH, or acid alkaline balance. pH really stands for percent hydrogen. Any solution will have an acid or an alkaline residual effect on the body. So if we eat more fruits and vegetables, more alkaline grains and nuts, then we become more alkaline in our body. We have to understand that the American diet, pasta, white flour, bread, chicken, meat, fish, soda, beer, coffee, tea, all the things we love, eggs, are really acid forming in our body. And it's not about restricting all the acid. It really is about balancing the acid. Because I have met many people who are perfect with their diet, they're vegetarian or vegan or eat very healthy, and they still have weight problems. It's really about getting the lymphatic system flowing. And a big part of that is getting your internal fluid, your pH, more balanced. And then you will see sustained weight loss. Because when we're alkaline in our body, our lymphatic vessels open up and can absorb waste. When they're constricted and we're acidic, then it can't absorb waste. And it just stores anywhere in our body. And that's why not only in our skin are we getting fat and heavy, but even in our organs are getting fatty. And that's not a good thing, meaning they're filling with waste. So again, if you'd like to lose weight, come learn the basics of the lymphatic system. It doesn't take much. Really, it's very simple. A little bit of hydration, exercise, good posture, stress management, and really balancing the pH. You must understand how some foods make acid in our body and some foods make alkaline. And it's real simple. Fruits and vegetables make alkaline. Everything else almost makes acid. But the most important thing is once our lymphatic system has become constricted, it takes a lot to open it up. A little more exercise, actually bouncing on a trampoline, a mini trampoline, bouncing on an exercise ball. All these things help to move our lymphatic system. But the simplicity of it, just deep breathing, can help to move our waste through our body. Many people are shallow breathers. We don't breathe deeply. So if we don't breathe deeply, especially when we're concentrating on a computer or reading, we barely breathe. So we need to start taking deep breaths throughout the day. And every time you take a deep breath, you're pulling fluid through your body, out of your brain, out of your eyes, out of your skin, helping waste move out. So start paying attention to your lymphatic system and your internal pH, and your life will change.